Oh, it's my professor Cruz. Here we are, the inside of our trailer. This is our mini Arctic we used to take to all the shows. Custom Cruise, a lot of people have seen this at the shows if you're a biker. Okay, very clever the way these work. This original was a little rock, Rockets Ferrari carrier now. These ends here actually open right out to here because he had cars going up these big ramps. Over wooden boxes, so the car actually sat above the ramps. Okay, this is when he used them for race cars and he had a, a living bit at the front, okay, which you can still see the living bits possible. Now, the height of the top is 70 inch. Now these obviously open fully out. So you have actually got, not just to here, if you were to take out the bits I've done, you know, I put boxes in, this is for the battery charging, you know, 240 volts we got on it. We've got 12 volt, 240 volt lights. A lot of damp in here at the moment, just drying it out. But um, if you want to have a look, the actual width of this truck, we are looking 85 inch. Okay, so it is actually 85, not six foot. So these bits here, like I say, these do swing out, these particular bits at the top. When the shot is fully up, these on these hinges, which will be rusty, I'll be honest, I've never opened them. But he did when we first got it. So these, basically, you can see these come out. And you've got the ramp folds away. And like I say, this is the 240 volt trips. You've got outside sockets as well. So if you've got a generator, you can power it inside and outside and have extensions. This is where the fuses were, the battery went in, spare bits. Fuse is also a good place to sit. Okay, your wheel arches are here. This is something we put in. This is for storage for the bike shows that we did. This particular thing in the middle, we do clamps. They go in here and hold your motorbike. You can actually get two bikes in there, one behind the other, two gold wings, which is quite a weight. But uh, being a Linton trailer, very well made, no problem. Coming up, okay, you've got lights. You've got a fan when it's hot, two, uh, 12 volt. Um, spotlight, you know, displays various stuff. This is where we had the manuals, as you can see. And this is the uh, the rear of the thing. You know, you've got a, a vent up here, okay? You've also got, all this is solid alley. It's really well made. I dread to think what you pay now. This is the fifth wheel, okay, for your Bedford. This here's your power sockets and your trips, okay? Which, like I say, they go to both sides of the van. So if you've got an awning on it, which we should have an awning for this as well. It will go either side. Like I said, it is damp in here. I haven't cleaned it for a long time. It's just been aired at the moment. I've opened the vents with the, with the snow. You know, I haven't bothered. But uh, you can see this is storage again. This is a rock and roll bed. Proper thing out of a Winnie bag I had recovered. Beautiful seat. That makes into a sofa or a bed. And there's a massive one underneath. That is an actual another Winnie Bago one. But this one you know, I had done for this when we were going to do the shows better. Then we bought the bigger trailer. Okay, the feather light. Coming up here, this is basically the living area where it was. Or in our case, this was the, uh, where we did all our, you know, displays, you know, everything. Um, you know, we've got all the power sockets for the card machines, um, you know, invoice books went in here, stuff like that. More lights again for at night. And uh, these were manuals and stuff up here you know, racking, very, very cool bit of kit. Ideal if you want to build a nice sort of motor -y type of thing. Okay, because that's what, if I don't sell it, I'll do. I'll turn it back into a proper motor -ohm. And you can actually have a Goldwing in here, a Harley, whatever you wanted as well, because the thing's more than strong enough. And it was only towed by this old Bedford CF which I've also got now next year. This thing's actually MOT exempt and no road tax because it's 1982. So that actually is another plus point. <laughs> no road tax and no MOT. Okay, and if it's an RV, you're okay, obviously. But uh, cracking bit of kit, say bit of damp inside, nothing to worry about because the whole thing's alley. So you've not got any problem with rust rutting or anything. But a uh, huge trailer, it really is. I've forgotten how big this thing is. Um, <laughs> in here we've got all table uh, cupboards, obviously, you know, stock stuff. And uh, so these are the alley wheel arches, spare wheel, and uh, trolley jack, spare oil, because we had a V8 auto in there, a Rover V8. 
these are obviously your um, displays for your manuals and uh, various stuff that we used to screw on here but uh, I've got to admit I will miss this trailer it really is part of us you know we had this for round about I've had it now 30 years plus and uh, it really is a cool bit of kit you can still see the old displays still in here okay if you're interested, give us a call 01773835666. If we take all this line out, there is another ramp to go with this one, which means you could do cars again if you wanted to use it as a car transport, a covered car, which you can charge a bloody fortune for that. But uh, 01773835666, customcruises.com or the new site, customcruises.eu. Thank you.